Rhonda and welcome back to Barbells and Beauty and before I get started happy nurse week to all my fellow nurses out there and I'm including all the CNAs because trust me I could not do my job without my techs and CNAs they got my back okay as much as I've got the doctors back they've got my back and they deserve a big round of applause as well especially those that are working in nursing homes because They've got the crappiest job and they don't get paid nearly enough for everything they do. So, yes, happy CNA, nurse, and everybody week. Okay, I'm going to be doing today the... Oh, if you're, if you're wondering, I got a sweatshirt on. Yes, I know it is the 7th of May. That's when I'm filming this. It's like 52 degrees outside. Mother Nature, what in the world? Who pissed in your Cheerios today? It is supposed to be like 72, not 52. So I'm freezing to death. We got the furnace turned back on. I'm just like, ugh, ugh. I'm ready for some warm and stay warm. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be doing the Brands That Excite Me Top 5 Bottom 5 Tag. This was started by Samantha March, my fellow Iowa girl, who, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I have been watching a few other people's tag videos, and I have just been like, you know what, that seems like a fun tag. And it's actually taken me a little bit of time to really narrow down my top five brands that super excite me, and my bottom five tags that just, just kind of don't excite me at all. Bottom five brands, not tags. God, you would think I'd have. I was on call last night. You would have thought I could have got some sleep, but of course I couldn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna stop with the top five brands that excite me. Now, this does not mean I buy everything that they come out with. It, what it means is that when they announce something is going to be released soon. I'm kind of like, I got to see what they're releasing. I just want to see it. I might buy it, but I got to see what they're releasing. And conversely, the bottom five, if they're announcing that they're releasing something, I might get around to looking and seeing what they've got, but I'm just kind of like, eh. And I might find something I really like, hey, that looks really, really good, and I end up buying it. But I'm just overall not like, oh my gosh, this brand is releasing something. I gotta go see what it is. I want to see it. It's more like, eh. If I happen to scroll across Trend Moods page or Hot Fire Makeup's page on Instagram, I might take a look at it. But I might not. That's the bottom five brands. So we're going to start with the top five brands. All right. Number one. Juvia's Place. When Juvia's Place says they're going to release something and they're giving a little sneak peek or a little hint or just something just drops, I'm all like my dog Frodo. My ears go up and I'm like I have got to see what Juvia's Place is releasing because their eyeshadows hit it out of the park, their highlighters hit it out of the park, I've got one of their blush palettes I really really enjoy. I don't have any of their liquid lipsticks, but I've heard they are even really, really good. When Juvia's Place says they're announcing something, I'm like, doing! I have got to see what they release. In fact, I've got Juvia's Place, the Afrique palette on my eyes today. So, yeah, that's a brand that super duper excites me. Number two, I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this. Because the brand owner is rather problematic, but Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I, what can I say? Um, I love his palettes that I have. I adore the, the concealer. Oh my gosh, that concealer is amazing. I really, really, really like the powder. I really like his liquid lipsticks. So when he says he's going to be in that releasing something, I'm just kind of like, I kind of got to see what this is. I, I really, I really want to see what it is. I, I just really want to see what it is. You know, he's going to be releasing lip glosses here soon, he says. He's got a summer collection coming up, he says. Eventually, he's going to be releasing foundation, and if it performs half as well as the concealer, I'm probably going to really be enjoying it. So, the owner's problematic, but I really like the brand. Number three, Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I have a lot of their palettes and I really, really enjoy them. 
And so when they say they're getting ready to drop something, I gotta check it out. Um, I just, I love their uh, highlighting palettes. The Amreezy highlighter is probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorites ever. So when they say they're dropping something, I'm over here going, I gotta take a look at that. Might not buy it, but I gotta see what it is. They just really excite me. Number four, ColourPop. Okay, ColourPop releases about four releases a week. I realize that, maybe slight over exaggeration, but you've got to admit, a lot of what they release is very interesting to look at. The Misunderstood palette here recently, I just love that thing. And you know, they, they just do release some really good stuff. And so when they say they're getting a new release, I'm usually on that ColourPop page taking a look at it. May or may not buy it. I buy a lot of ColourPop. But I'm interested in what they're releasing and I guess that's good for ColourPop that they haven't completely oversaturated their own personal market to where no one wants to buy it. So good for ColourPop. And fifth, it, this one was actually kind of hard. I thought about Natasha Denona. I thought about Hourglass. I thought about some indie brands like Luxy Beauty. But I finally narrowed it down to Pat McGrath. Now I only have uh, like one full palette of Pat McGraths and a couple of her smaller palettes. Uh, but when she says she's releasing something, I am kind of like, well, I gotta see what this is. My budget says you probably better not buy it, but I gotta see what it is. I really, really do. Pat just comes up with eyeshadow palettes that their color stories are simply amazing. And I kind of want them all. In fact, I'm kind of leaning. I was thinking about getting a Wayne Goss brush set for my fitness workout. Um, if I hit 13 workouts, I've been rewarding in a month. 13 workouts in a month. I've been trying to reward myself with something. Last time was the Vintner's Daughter um, Serum. Um, I was thinking about for May getting a Wayne Goss brush set, but I'm kind of leaning towards maybe splurging and getting a new Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow palette. So yeah, Pat McGrath just kind of makes me go, I gotta see what that is. So those are my top five brands that excite me. Alrighty, let's get a little bit snarky here and go with the bottom five Bottom five brands. Brands that don't excite me at all. Number one, Alme. Have they even released anything lately? I, I don't know. They had some lip glosses last year that I really did enjoy. And that's about all I know that they've released because they don't excite me at all. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. If they could drop, you know, even like a four four pan quad, you know, with some really exciting shadows, I'd probably be like, no one would know about it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Alme is boring. Number two, and this is going to surprise some people, Morphe. I mean, seriously, the last woo woo exciting thing that they dropped was the James pa James Charles palette. And I yes, I picked that up, but a lot of their other releases they they show them what they they show what it looks like, and it's like, yeah, that looks like every other palette that they release. And they're just starting to kind of make me go, oh, seen it, don't want it, don't need it. So Morphe, you need to maybe step it up just a little bit. Number three, The Balm. I love their blushes. I love their bronzers. But when they you know, are releasing an eyeshadow palette, I'm just like, meh. You know, they got some cutesy designs and stuff, but I'm just like, eh. I don't really care. Which is sad because they're, they're like I said, their blushes and their bronzers are amazing, but they just need to step it up a little bit with their eyeshadow releases because they're just kind of like, eh. Number four, Benefit. They just keep rehashing the same blushes in palettes over and over 
and over again. I mean, really, when was the last time we saw an eyeshadow palette released from Benefit? They say, oh, we've got a new palette, and it's the same blushes and bronzers, just arranged in a different way. Or it's a mascara, again. Or brow products, but they're not new brow products, they're just repackaged with a different influencer's name on them, again. If they came out with an eyeshadow palette that was stunning, I think a lot of people would just about have to pick up their jaws off the floor, me included, because it would be so shocking that they did something other than another blush and bronzer palette. Come on now, Benefit, I know you can do better than that. Come on. And number five, for the bottom five brands that excite me, is Tarte. Now let me tell you, when they said they were going to release their Icy Bitch palette, I didn't really figure it would be an exact copy of the stupid April Fool's joke they did in 2018. Whoever thought that was an ingenious idea should have been slapped up the face with a mallet. Uh, this beautiful green and blue palette, I, then it's like, April Fools, we're going to go back to the same boring browns. I didn't really think it would be an exact copy of that, but I thought maybe it'd be kind of close and it'd be better than what they really did release. Um, uh, what were you thinking, Tarte? I mean, the mermaid palette is kind of interesting, but to be honest, when Tarte says they're releasing something, I really just don't care, because they haven't really excited me since the icy bitch April Fool's joke. Which was the stupidest thing they've done in a very long time. <sighs> really, Tarte. Color is your friend. And people probably want color, and I'm not talking brown, 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 and a pop of blue. And I'm not talking a rainbow palette. Come up with an interesting color story. I mean, you know, put a whole bunch of shades of purples and pinks together. And, you know, the, just, we want color tart, not the same boring brown. So there you have it. That's my top five and bottom five brands that excite me. I tag everyone who watches this video because I'm super excited to see what uh, everybody's top five and bottom five brands are, especially those of you who live in different countries because I, I love hearing, you know, different brands that maybe we don't have a lot of availability here in America because I just love that. That is so cool. And again, happy Nurses Week. If you're a nurse, high five. We rock. If you know a nurse, give her a, him, him or her a high five because we rock. And just remember, nurses, we're the ones that keep the doctors from killing you. <laughs> so peace, love, and take care of yourself because that's the nurse's orders. And you have to listen to me because it's my week. Bye-bye. <laughs>